Mark, I gotta have a donut with my coffee in the morning. Hey, like I said, if you want to kind of start with that amount of sugar and that kind of caffeine to front load your day, more power to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to go from reactive to proactive here, right? Just like any SRE team, I think that's the goal. You kind of have to anymore. What are you going to do? Wait until 11 p.m. to start drinking coffee and see what happens. If you're putting all the effort into the beginning of this, you're really kind of missing out on the whole thing about what an SRE is supposed to do anyway. I think one of the things that's really important when you're trying to actually be more proactive is you have got to shift left. You've got to bring developers into the conversation much, much earlier, right? I actually think it's the opposite. I think you've got to bring SREs to the table to the developers because otherwise they're going to kind of just do what they want to do anyway. I mean, look, they have a lot of struggles and they have a lot of challenges they need to accomplish, but reliability isn't always their biggest focus. So I think if you bring SREs in early, you're going to end up with a product that really is going to make the customer happy. And you just get everybody on the same page, looking at the same dashboards, looking at the same data things are gonna run run much, much smoother, right? Yeah, well, the goal I think is to really get to the point where you're making data-driven decisions and you're not trying to be, oh, what happened last week? What do we know about that? What are we gonna do about that? If you actually collect the things that you need to collect to make the decisions in the first place, you're probably ahead of the curve. I've lived through the bad old days, right? I used to be a uh, an SRE, worked on financial services projects. And most of the time, everything was a silo. Yeah, it's, it's still bad in some places. And I think that different companies are on different paths in their SRE journey. And maybe the maturity level is still something that they're working out. But if they can figure out how to collect the right metrics, collect the right traces, work APM and RUM into the equation a little bit, it's going to make things a lot easier for them. I think that if you're chasing dollars, you should really spend the money on the tools that make your team successful instead of just worrying about how you're going to make things cheaper because ultimately I think you're going to spend more in the long run anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think you will end up spending more in the long run. That's yeah. a really good point. And yeah. it's, it's going to be painful the whole way you're doing it too. So it's kind of like brushing your teeth. It's really easy to brush your teeth. It's really bad to wait till the root canal comes. So I think that if you're not willing to put forth that little bit of effort at the beginning, you're just not going to have a good time. Yeah. And I'm, I've been there. I, I know what it's like when you're not having a good time and, you know, can really help with things like really finding the root cause and post-mortems and making sure that documentation is has been produced by, by developers and SREs, right? To kind of finish that out a little bit, if you're not actually making your, your root cause data work for you, you're collecting it to throw it away. So learn from it, make it searchable, make it so that you can actually make decisions based on it. And you're already empowering your developers to kind of learn from their mistakes or to learn from the decisions that they made with the data they had available at the time and make a better decision the next time around. So as SREs, we need to buy our developers some more donuts, right? I think that's one of it. I think maybe we should also give them a little extra coffee too. More coffee. I'm good with that. Yeah, keep them <laughs> caffeinated. Keep them working.